I start with a short introduction to e-cigarettes. What is this new device? But the base, basically I'm going to talk about e-cigarettes and health. Uh, I published a systematic review two years ago. And uh, last year the World Health Organization asked me to update this systematic review. And uh, based on this and even more articles, studies that I found, I'm going to present the results on what we know till now about the possible health effects of use of e-cigarettes. And there are many studies, there are almost 250 studies now. And we have both animal studies, uh, experimental studies, human experimental studies, adverse events reports, uh, and a lot of um, studies looking at the content of vapor that means the smoke from e-cigarettes. And uh, based on that, my conclusions are that there is um, a growing body of evidence that e-cigarettes are harmful. Um, I also conclude that um, e-cigarettes, it is not one product. It is a, there are thousands of products. There are 500 brands with more than 8,000 flavors. So uh, each brand and each flavor has a different risk profile. So we cannot talk about e-cigarettes as one product because some have a very high content of, for example, carcinogenic substances and in others no carcinogenic substances has been found. Regarding to uh, the pulmonary system, the lungs are the primary target organ. So we must expect that the harm will be mm, mm, largest in the respiratory system. And uh, animal studies show that animals that are exposed to e-cigarettes for longer time, they develop asthma and COPD. And they have also increased risk of uh, infections when they are exposed to virus or bacteria and a higher mortality uh, when they are exposed to infections. Um, the human experimental studies, they show uh, that uh, those who use e-cigarettes, they receive as many particles in their lungs as if, when they smoke. And Many studies show that there is a significant airway obstruction. Um, so to round up, um, definitely some kind of lung disease can be expected and we cannot rule out lung cancer. One study, two studies found actually that the vapors, they um, absorb the carcinogenic substances as we find them in the urine. So it's not ju just in the vape, vapor, uh, 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 in the smoke, but it is also absorbed. So we can definitely not rule lung cancer out.